The one word I can use to describe this movie would have to be bland. So guys, I saw the new Romeo and Juliet movie that you might know that I wasn't excited for if you did watch my trailer review for it back in May, maybe. I don't really remember when I saw the trailer and when I did the review, but I really wasn't excited for the movie. I'm a huge fan of the Baz Luhrmann 1996 Leonardo DiCaprio reimagining of Romeo and Juliet, and this is obviously a much more realistic look and what it's supposed to be like, but the trailer just made it look really boring, and the whole movie itself was actually really boring. So let's talk about it. The story is obviously the story of Romeo and Juliet. If you guys don't know what it is, there will be some spoilers in the, the review here, but I mean, it's just the story. I can't really judge it. I mean, it's Shakespeare and it, it's just, it is what it is. The performances, well, I was kind of excited to see Hi Haley Steinfeld in a movie again. The last thing I saw her in was True Grit back in 2010. And she was really good in that movie, and this is the first thing she's really been in since then. And she played Juliet, but her performance was just so wooden and just bland. I mean, that's that's the word of the day, bland. There was just no emotion in anything she said. And the same thing goes for Douglas Booth as Romeo. Their performances were just bad. It felt like they were just reading the lines, and a lot of the other people really did feel that way too. There are two people, though, that I can say were trying, and I did like them in the movie. The first one is Paul Giamatti as... Um, What's his name? Friar Lawrence. Um, he's the one that marries Romeo and Juliet. I thought he was actually trying. He did a pretty good job, and I always liked Paul Giamatti, so that's all good. And then the woman that played the nurse, um, Juliet's sort of motherly uh, guidance, you could say. I thought she was actually trying as well, and at times I could see a really good performance from her, especially, spoiler alert, when um, Juliet, when everyone thinks she dies, um, that's when it really you know, kind of hit me like, okay, she's actually pretty good and I like her character in the movie. I always have liked that character actually. So the performances, mostly bad. There are a couple of standouts, but it they're both supporting characters, so it really, it's not good. I didn't think that the movie was directed very well. It just felt very forced and didn't, it just didn't feel right. The movie had a very cheap feeling. Like, it didn't feel like an actual movie. It felt like a made-for-PBS movie. That's really what this felt like. And the fight scenes were edited so poorly. When I say fight scenes, I mean the sword fights, the battles. They were edited just terribly. I could not tell what was going on, and a lot of the battles were just cut way too short, and it was just really cheesy at times, too. I don't know. The movie just was not good, and I didn't think it would be. So I definitely would not recommend this movie. Like I said, the word of the day is bland. Um, I just thought most of the performances were really bad. It wasn't directed well. And the story just did not deviate itself at all from Romeo and Juliet. It's something that we've seen time after time. I definitely recommend the Boslerman 1996 reimagining over this one. And if you're not a fan of that one, if that one's just too crazy for you, then just go back to the one that was released in the 70s or 60s. I don't remember when that came out. But... I definitely would not recommend seeing this Romeo and Juliet movie. I don't think anybody really knows about it, to be honest. Um, uh, there are, like, no showtimes for it. No one was at the premiere I went to. I was in there completely alone. It just was not a good movie. So, I actually don't know how many stars I'm going to give it. I did not think that through before doing this review. I'll probably give it one out of five stars. It just wasn't good. It was really cheesy really bland, and that's about all I can say. So guys, this is Luke Mick signing off. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you later.